pills now, they're getting expensive. Because a lot of people like to buy pills or like to get pills because why? They don't have to go to the house over here. They don't have to go to this neighborhood over there to go buy the cocaine, right? Now, drug dealers are mobile, so they'll get in the car and, and meet them. But what? They can just get the pain pills from their neighbor. They can get the pain pills from the friend down the road, right? So you've got Stadol. Remember, Stadol was a, a lot of people would use Stadol for um, migraines. Coding. COVID. Right? Everybody, oh, do you have COVID? Do you have a sinus infection? Do you have a viral infection? Right? What are the doctors giving you when you got a bad cough? Cough medicine with codeine, right? Cough medicine with codeine. So a lot of people are taking codeine with their cough medicine. Remember, you got to sign for it when you go to the um, to the pharmacy. But there's a pile of people taking cough medicine with codeine right now because of COVID-related aspects and because of colds and sinus infection or just a general viral infection. Codeine is a central nervous system depressant. So do we have to be careful with an officer taking codeine on duty? Yes, because a lot of times it will make them sleepy, right? Especially on night shift, you know, when you find the officer passed out over here, well, what do we do first? You know, so we'll ask them about the history and what's going on. Maybe they just tired, something's going on in the house, right? Fentanyl. So fentanyl, a lot of times we give fentanyl on the ambulance. So we carry fentanyl, uh, every ambulance um, that's represented in this in Dallas County has fentanyl on the ambulance. It's a great pain medication. It's very good at what it does. But we give fentanyl in micrograms. Most other medications that we give is in milligrams, but we give fentanyl in micrograms so because it's so potent. Okay? But if we've got a trauma patient that's been in a bad wreck or somebody fell and broke the hip, fentanyl is great because it deadens the pain before we have to move them, right? And it does not have a whole lot of effects on their blood pressure initially, like the morphine does when we carry morphine. We, we leave the morphine for a cardiac patient. Signs and symptoms of overdose, right? So we can teach the whole class off of this, and you're like, why in the world start up there running his mouth? This, after we talk about signs and, signs and symptoms of an overdose, unresponsive to sternal rub. If you have to chase them down to give them Narcan, do not give them Narcan. <laughs> Let me repeat that. If you have to chase the person down to give them Narcan, they are not a candidate for Narcan. Any questions? That it happen. But the sternal rub is basically when you just get your knuckles and you rub on the sternum, right? Right on the sternal bone. Rub them. Sir, ma'am. Sir, ma'am. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Don't pop them in the head, right? You rub them. Remember, everybody's body cameras are on. Per policy. Sternal rub. Sir, ma'am. Sir, ma'am. Sir, ma'am. If they don't respond, they're probably unconscious. Or if they respond a little bit, is their consciousness altered? Yes. They've got altered consciousness. Depressed respiratory system, agonal respirations. You'll see a picture in just a second of ag agonal respiration. Y'all know this is what our grandparents used to call the death rattle, right? I call it guppy breathing because it looks like, you know, literally a, a fish out of water. Agonal respirations cannot support life. They cannot support life. Y'all have seen it in wrecks. You've seen it when somebody's been severely injured in trauma, uh, when y'all roll up with EMS. But basically, it's where their mouth is open and it lo literally looks up. Uh, It's erratic breathing. Can that sustain life? The answer is no. Some of y'all are CPR certified, some of y'all are not. When we went to the police academy, we got CPR certified and we had to swim and all that when we came out of the academy. Some of y'all, now the local departments have to do that, right? So some of y'all are CPR certified, some of y'all are not. Can you be breathing and your heart stopped? The answer is no. But can your heart be beating and you not be breathing? Yes, remember that's called respiratory arrest. Respiratory arrest is when you are not breathing, but your heart is still beating. Is it gonna be beating very long? No, 10 minutes probably max, right? Unless you're in cold water or something.